In this video I'm going to show you how to use the cluster sampling method and we won't really be using the graphing calculator per se, um, but we will be avoiding the use of the spreadsheet. So the uh, starting point is our list of our population and we then need to again like in stratified divide the individuals into groups. This time they're called clusters. Typically cluster sampling is used in a, a geographic area you want to survey individuals and you'll use neighborhoods or zip codes or even city blocks and those will be the predefined clusters and then you'll number them and you have to number all the clusters and then you randomly pick certain clusters. Oh, so we will. We will use the graphing calculator. Sorry, because we got to randomly pick numbers. Uh, you randomly pick some of the clusters and then you would include all the individuals in those clusters. That's the way I was taught and we're going to use that definition. So uh, I'm going to use the information about the degree programs that's in the third column there and I'm going to separate them into groups or clusters based on that. And I've kind of already done that. Um, I got two students in business, I got one in engineering, I've got uh, these six individuals in nursing and through EMS in there, three science and uh, Eight in, yeah, eight in social science, and then I threw general studies and non-curricular together, and I have three of those. Notice I numbered the clusters one through six. Okay, so now I'm going to randomly pick a cluster from one to six. Now again, I'm going to use a sample size of four, and it's not going to be guaranteed that I can get a sample size four without uh, bending the rules a little bit. But let's try, let's just get one cluster at a time. So a random number from one to six, and we get the number six. That would tell us to use the three individuals in the cluster six, general studies and non-curricular. Okay. Now I typically don't want to go below the sample size that I sought after. Right, I'd rather go above than below. Right? So uh, that sample size 4 is a minimum sample size. So I don't want to stop with that group there. So let me go ahead and get another group. All right, and that's 2. All right. So that works out just perfect. We get exactly 4. Now, chances are that's not going to happen. All right. So uh, chances are you'll get too many, right? If I had to come up with the number three instead of two, then I'd have all these individuals and I only needed one. And your choice at that point is to just take the number of individuals you need and you can randomly pick them or just pick them off the top of the list <clears throat> or take all the individuals in the cluster and go over the sample size that you sought after. So on this uh, application, you're welcome on cluster sampling to exceed the desired sample size or to bend the rules a little bit. Just let me know what you did. Um, so here I actually just picked those. And so I would say um, information that told me how, how I split these into clusters and how I picked those individuals. But there's the four individuals in my cluster sample.